if you walk with the Holy Ghost or if you're going to walk with the Holy Ghost he is going to give you words to say you want to walk with the Holy Ghost then you're gonna to have to learn how to say some things I say this every time I get up here that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words a lot of people I hear it quite often they've never heard that before it's a new kind of thinking which is a new kind of believing and it sets you up for a brand new reality that you live in if you wake up in the morning and you have that revelation and understanding that the Holy Ghost is the one part of the Godhead in the earth and he's the one you're walking with right and I walk with him by the vehicle of saying words you've come a long way mm -hmm. say I've come a long way. I've come a long way so if you're doing that then you're joining in with people literally all over the world are doing this now mm -hmm. that might not have been doing it before but they're doing it now say they're doing it now, doing doing it now. now. and we're joining in with them or they're joining in with us yeah. and this is just the beginning people are doing it and people are benefiting from it do you think there's any benefits to walking with the living and true God in the earth yes. the way he wants you to which is by saying words you understand that mm -hmm. he's a faith God he's a word God and when we get in agreement with him remember Amos 3 3 says what can two walk together except they be agreed or be saying the same thing you understand I preach on this all the time but if this isn't your first time here consider becoming a partner with us and you can help us to get this message out all over the world where it's going we appreciate you anyway but this is only the beginning I hope you can hear this this is only the beginning of what God the Holy Ghost is doing in the earth today and you're welcome to join up and be a part of this right at the beginning might as well get on board right here right now mm -hmm. say right here right now. Right, here, right now so we worship him the Holy Ghost you got a problem with that I hope not he's God we worship him and speak his words meaning we speak in agreement with his words that's how we walk with him mm -hmm. that's how we walk with God in the earth today thus the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words does he like hanging out with you if you worship him and you speak in agreement with his words he likes hanging out with you and the more say the more the more you speak in agreement with him and the more you worship him the more he enjoys say enjoys enjoys, enjoys hanging out with you is there any benefit to that yes. so anyway today we're going to be talking about the second part of that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words we're gonna be talking about the saying part say the saying part, the saying part. And I say this kind of half jokingly but I'm not really that joking about it you know if you don't open to mark 11 23 and preach on it every once in a while you might lose your faith preacher license <laughs> my spiritual dad Kennedy e. Hagen there's a famous picture of him where he's holding up three fingers and one finger <laughs> that the Lord told him you have to preach three times as much on the saying part mm -hmm. as you do on the believing part mm -hmm. mark eleven twenty two, and jesus answered and said unto them have faith in god or another translation says has the god kind of faith mm -hmm. say have it. have it i mean if he's telling you to have it we can have it yeah. verily i say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain be thou removed be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he saith now in that verse of scripture it has say saith and saith written three times and believing only once notice it because we need to preach three times as much on the saying part as we do on the believing part so we're going to be talking about the saying part first Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 9 and how ye turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God so we had these people they turned from idols yes. to serve the true and living God you know what idols are right 
there are those little things that people worship another translation says that it says they turn from worshiping idols to worshiping the living God I'm not gonna be worshiping the idol anymore I'm turning from that and I'm going to worship the living God well if the living God is the Holy Ghost who am I worshiping now the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost because he's the living God Yes. now I turned from those idols I might have been asking those idols for protection I might have been asking them for fertility I might have been asking them for healing I might have been asking them for prosperity I'm turning from that to the Living God who actually can give you prosperity are you here yes. are you hearing this he's he's the one we're turning to and he's living and he's alive and he's doing what all of those things that those idols really couldn't do mm -hmm. and we're worshiping him so those are some of the benefits there's many benefits that we reap from worshiping the Living God mm -hmm. now we know the Living God is the Holy Ghost there's many benefits to worshiping the Holy Ghost we partake of those benefits here a lot of people don't preach on these benefits a lot of people don't believe in the benefits beloved I pray or I say above all things that thou mayest what prosper. prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers so we believe in turning and worshiping the Living God the Holy Ghost that we reap prosperity and then be in health even as thy soul prosper we reap health mm -hmm. yes. from worshiping the Living God benefits that we reap from worshiping the true and living God Psalms 103 verse 1 bless the Lord O my soul all that is within me bless his holy name forget not all his benefits most people have almost forgotten all of his benefits mm -hmm. they only remember one he forgives your sins and you die and go to heaven mm -hmm. is that what he said forget not all his benefits who forgives all your iniquities yeah good good mm -hmm. but then what who heals all your diseases mm -hmm. all of them mm -hmm. is it a benefit to worshiping the Living God yes, it is. yes and we're not to forget it hey by the way don't forget it he heals all your diseases say all of them, all of them. who redeems thy life from destruction who crowns thee with loving kindness and tender mercies who satisfies your mouth with good things so your youth is renewed is youth renewal included in the benefits in the same list of benefits that he listed forgave your sins yes. yes it is something we serve God for it's something we believe for here that maybe other people don't in fact we're big on it here If you joined up with us I command youth renewal to come upon you join us in this belief in youth renewal it's right there renews your youth remember we talked about turning from idols mm -hmm. to serve the Living God mm -hmm. you might pray to an idol for youth renewal might you mm -hmm. someone might there's probably one out there that that they say does that right mm -hmm. but we're turning from that to serve the Living God well in 1st Corinthians chapter 12 verse 2 Paul says he calls them dumb idols mm -hmm. say dumb idols. dumb idols you know the word dumb means or stupid well stupid maybe but it really means silent they don't say anything mm -hmm. we're turning from the idol that doesn't say anything to serve the Living God who does say things yes. are you getting this yes. so we're turning from the silence over to the speaking say I'm turning from silence, I'm turning from silence. To, speaking. to speaking and now I'm speaking in agreement with who the Living God are you seeing this I hope you're getting it how can you refine it down to just saying the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words years and years of revelation have brought us to this place yes. Acts chapter 10 verse 34 then Peter opened his mouth and said of a truth I perceive that God is no respecter of persons verse 35 but in every nation he that fears him and works righteousness is accepted with him him who him the Holy Ghost God mm -hmm. so we have two things here the Peter's outlining 
by the Spirit of God he says he that fears the Holy Ghost well we know the word fear is translated in many other places even in the same King James as what worship he that worships the Holy Ghost say worships the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. and works righteousness mm -hmm. right is number two so we're gonna worship the Holy Ghost and work righteousness mm -hmm. we work righteousness by saying words say you work righteousness, work righteousness by saying words, by saying words. <laughs> how do you know that you might say because the righteousness of faith speaks Romans chapter 10 verse 6 the righteousness which is of faith speaks so the righteousness which is of faith speaks mm -hmm. what if I don't say anything is it possible that I could be in the righteousness which is of faith no, no because it has to speak something quickly verse 8 but what saith it the righteousness of faith speaks but what saith it the word so at a minimum the righteousness of faith saith the word try that on the righteousness of faith, righteousness of faith saith, saith the word. word here's the reality he that worships God and works righteousness is accepted with him is there any benefit of being accepted with him mm -hmm. yes all of those things all those benefits and more mm -hmm. that we talked about now if you walk with the Holy Ghost or if you're going to walk with the Holy Ghost or if you're in the process of walking with the Holy Ghost he is going to give you words to say I've got news for you he's gonna give you words to say the Holy Ghost is gonna give you words to say things to say say things to say, things to say. you want to walk with the Holy Ghost then you're gonna to have to learn how to say some things so what are you gonna do about it when he gives you those things to say you're gonna speak them you must say things if you want to walk with the Holy Ghost you must say things mm -hmm. if you want to walk with the Holy Ghost you're gonna to have to say some things are you here yes. because the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today that's how we walk with him is by speaking in agreement with his words well we're gonna to have to learn how to say the same thing but it means you're gonna to have to say some things all good things come out of him he's called the promise by the way the promise and we know that all the promises are yes and amen in him mm -hmm. right yes so all good things come from him and out of him into your life are you getting this yes. predominantly through the vehicle of words People don't like this but that's too bad what where else are they gonna go mm -hmm. they're gonna have to come up with some other righteousness mm -hmm. but the righteous the righteousness we speak of is the righteousness of faith and you're gonna have to say some things to walk with the Holy Ghost so all good things come out of him predominantly through the vehicle of speaking words mm -hmm. how are all good things gonna come from him into your life mm -hmm. predominantly through the vehicle of saying words speaking words mm -hmm. speaking his words Amen. so to be in faith remember mark 11 23 said have the faith of God to be in faith you're gonna have to stop praying remember mark 11 23 doesn't say pray in that verse at all mm -hmm. it just says say have the faith of God whosoever shall say mm -hmm. are you here yes. stop praying and start saying you know I've had him tell me that before I don't want to say it's like a crutch but in a way it's sort of a faith crutch to just keep asking God for something mm -hmm. you understand God help me <laughs> and he helps you as far as he can but at some point say at some point, at some point you're required to grow up in faith so you stop praying and you start saying I want you to stop praying for God to renew your youth stop it quit it stop it stop praying for God to prosper you or increase you financially stop it start saying my youth is renewed mm -hmm. are you here yes. start saying my accounts are increasing and are blessed and I am prosperous mm -hmm. 
stop praying and start saying that pleases God faith pleases God Please. in fact it's it's impossible to please him without faith God the Holy Ghost is more pleased by you saying your youth is renewed than praying for him to renew your youth God the Holy Ghost is more pleased by you saying that you are healed by Jesus stripes than praying for you to be healed by Jesus stripes God the Holy Ghost is more pleased by you saying that you are blessed and prosperous and have abundance and no lack than praying to have prosperity and no lack are you getting this mm -hmm. so I call my youth renewed say I call my youth renewed youth renewal is something that we call for we believe for we expect and we experience the Holy Ghost will begin to do for you whatever you say he will mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost will do for you whatever you say he will yes. Amen. what if he you say he won't do something he won't do it mm -hmm. or what if you don't say he's doing something for you he's still not gonna do it mm -hmm. but if you say he does that for you he does that for you mm -hmm. what Holy Ghost do you want to walk with in the earth one who does things for you yeah. yes we walk with God by saying every word of God scriptures you understand every word of God is a prophecy over you are you getting this yes. every word of God is a prophecy over you say that every word of God, word of God. Is, a is a prophecy over me. over me so when he says by Jesus stripes you were healed he's prophesied that over you are you getting that yes. when he says the blessing of the Lord makes you rich and adds no sorrow with it he's already said that concerning you it's already a prophecy over you he's already said it we have to agree with it he said the yes we have to say the amen or the so be it unto me mm -hmm. yes. Yes. are you here yes. we walk with him by saying words mm -hmm. he's not a silent idol he's a God who speaks and we have to speak in agreement with him are you getting this mm -hmm. so you have to say it you have to believe it right yeah. so you're gonna find scriptures and begin saying those scriptures yeah. Then we're back to Mark 11 23 you're in agreement with the faith of God saying it believing it comes to pass and whosoever shall have whatsoever they say and believe you must believe that the words you are saying are doing something say I must believe, I must believe that the words, that the words I'm, saying I'm saying are doing something, are doing something. Because remember we're not serving a dumb idol we're serving a living God and as I speak in agreement with his word he begins doing things doing what things you say doing those things which I say mm -hmm. what did he say who believes the things he says come to pass what were the things he says what are the things you say the words mm -hmm. you're believing the words you say come to pass you're believing they're fulfilling the purpose that you're coming out your mouth for are you here same thing with confessions you're confessing a scripture by Jesus stripes I was healed sickness and disease cannot stay in my body what am I saying what am I believing I'm believing what I'm saying mm -hmm. comes to pass I call my youth renewed what am I believing I'm believing the things I'm saying comes to pass mm -hmm. I'm walking with God the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. is God in the earth today well in this new life you can see there's new life in there right it's a new reality that you live in based on the words that you say it's not based on the things that you feel or the things that you see you're living in a world and a new reality based on the things that you say and the Holy Ghost is able to enter into that and do those things for you you must learn to love to speak words and I understand I mean there's days I get up I have a process that I go through every day and some days I get up and I don't want to do it can you imagine that mm -hmm. have you ever done that well what are you gonna do about it if I said you have to walk with God by saying words 
and you're gonna walk with God that day then you're gonna have to say some things that day right you can just make yourself do it what are you a baby make yourself do it you must learn to love speaking words mm -hmm. and believing they come to pass you want to walk with God you must love learn to love speaking words and believing they come to pass why that's how God walks that's how God does things mm -hmm. welcome to the new reality love to speak in agreement with him say this I love, I love speaking, speaking in agreement in with the Holy Ghost. the Holy Ghost no I don't like it you're gonna not only have to not like it you're gonna have to learn to love it are you here yes. say I love it. I love it there's nothing greater and there's no greater joy than to make your mouth say the things that the Holy Ghost is saying and it enables him to do things for you that he can't do can't do for other people until they learn to speak in agreement with him let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you for blessing these people bringing them them up to a place where they can speak in agreement with your will for their life I bless them in Jesus name I call their youth renewed I call their health restored and I call them blessed and prosperous in Jesus name Amen. Amen. This evening's tithe and offering would be a good time. We're going to say some things over it. We're not even going to pray about it. I'm not even going to pray. Say this Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I'm not even going to pray over this. I'm going to say that my finances are blessed. Great increase comes to me right now in Jesus' name. Your God. 